Let's do a basic time value of money example. Now throughout this video, I'm gonna be using this classic BA2 plus calculator, but it doesn't matter if you're using the BA2 plus professional, both of them will work the same way. And so you can click the buttons in the exact same order that I'm clicking them. Let's do an example with the functionality of this calculator that I think has gotten the most use on my calculators over the years, which is these five time value of money buttons, which is gonna be great for bond and loan calculation. So let's consult this practice example. So the, our scenario is that we want to retire with $1 million in 30 years. So if you can earn 7,000 annually, how much should you contribute each year to basically end up with 1 million in 30 years? So we're going to clear out anything that was in there with second clear time value of money. And then now we're going to start putting in our inputs. So we know that we need this money in 30 years. So we can type three, zero, and then N. And then we see N is now set equal to 30. And now we know that we can earn 7% annually. So we'll type seven, and then we can hit this IY key, which will set it to interest per year equals 7%. You'll notice it doesn't say 0 0.007, this is in percentage. So just the whole number seven means 7%. Now uh, we're starting with nothing, right? So because we're just contributing each year. So our present value PV, we would want to set equal to zero. So we'll click zero and then we'll click the PV button. Now we have PV equals zero. We also know that we need $1 million in 30 years. So that will be our future value. So we'll type one, zero 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 that's one million then we'll hit fv that's what we want to have in 30 years we want to retire with one million so we have put in four of these five time value of bunny button we did the n interest per year present value future value the only one we haven't touched is payment or pmt so this will tell us based on all the other inputs what will make everything uh equal uh, so we'll hit compute and then payment and then we find that if we wanted to have one million dollars in 30 years by contributing every year uh, at seven percent interest we would have to contribute uh, negative $10,586.40, meaning that's what we have to pay. It's a cash outflow. That's what the negative indicates. 